So in today's video, I'm going to show how I do these beachy waves. So I hope you'll join me. Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I'm going to show you how I got these beachy waves. On a previous video, I think it was the tubing mascara, uh, someone asked me if I would show how I got my hair that way. And I started out doing that and I ended up with something else. So, but you can adapt the way I did it. I made it a lot curlier than I did at that video and I kept it parted in the middle. But, you know, that's the good thing about hair. You can do it exactly the way you want to. I like to start out with my hair kind of curly because then it'll last for days and I can put it up twist it up and do curls all over and all that kind of stuff. So um, today I do different things with my hair to do to get beachy waves. Today I'm using a three quarter inch uh, curling iron and uh, so I also turn it around to make it like a wand, uh, which I'll show you when I demonstrate. But you know, you could go larger and just make it the size that you want to. I, I just, like I said, I like to get the waves and curls kind of tight on the first day that I can sleep. You know, I can put it up in a big um, ponytail uh, on top of my head and the curls will last for several days and I don't have to redo it. So I, I don't mind it being a little too curly the first day. Uh, so I'm going to show you this look and um, I appreciate you joining me. Okay, hopefully you can't see that mirror there, but I need to have it up kind of high. Okay, so what I do is, there's several different ways that I do my hair, but I'm trying to do it the way I did it the day the, the person requested on the video. I'm trying to remember. So if I want really big waves, I will use the one, uh, one inch curling iron. Uh, if I want a little bit tighter waves that will last a little bit longer and not fall out quite as quickly, I will use the three-quarter, and that's what I'm going to use today. Another thing I will do, I'm not going to do that today, but sometimes if I want it a tighter curl even more so, I will start at the top and go down. I will take sections at the top and you know put it around the curling iron. Then I will pin it to my scalp like that. And that makes like a pin curl and makes it curlier and makes it last longer. And I do that quite frequently, especially when I know I'm going to not want to shampoo my hair for quite a few days because that will hold. Another thing that I will do is I will use a flat iron to make beachy waves. It makes great big waves. And I tell you, a flat iron, whatever you do, move my mirror back a little bit. Hopefully that's not sure. That's worrying me. If you use a flat iron, whatever you do, whatever kind of wave you put in there, it is going to last. And I'll, I'll show that sometime. You know, you just take it and you wrap it around and then do it, flip it of this way, get it at the bottom and then, whoops, it's not turned on. And then you, you know, you pull it down that way and it'll make a nice wave. But, and, and it stays, it really does. But, um, you know, I just want some medium type waves today. So it's very simple. Um, I shampooed my hair this morning with the Nioxin System 4, and it is really helping my hair come back in after going off of the, you know, going through the cancer, the mastectomy, the all that made my hair really, it was just really, really bald and thin through here, and it's really, really helped it. So what I did have done, I did the Nioxin System 4, and then, uh, uh, and that includes the shampoo and conditioner. You leave the conditioner in for three minutes. I did that in the shower. Then I derma rolled my hair on those areas, and then I put in the leave-in treatment, and then I blow dried it. And then after I blow dried it, I took my spray to mode, Bumble and Bumble spray to mode, and I sprayed underneath there and then pushed it forward where it'd be poochy and then put a clip in there. Okay, so I'm not going to go from the top down and use the pin curls. I'm going to section it off and go from the bottom up and then just let the curls just kind of cool down with, uh, you know, with the weight kind of pulling them down a little bit. So I'll section off the first part. Kind of twist it into a little bun, put a clip in. Okay, now, then I divide it in half. 
Then I divide it in half and get started. I already did one. I, I tried to film this earlier today and my camera just quit. It's not holding a battery. I think the battery's not charging full, but that's I pulled on it to pull on it to get it back straight again, but I've already done one of them. So here's what I do. I just, you know, get me a piece. And what I do is I take the curling iron and I curl the root for a few seconds first, then take it out and I use it as a curling iron with the clip that way. Then I take it out and turn it uh, pointing down and use it as a curling wand. So let me show you how I do that. So first I do the root. I do that for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take it down, go this way, and use it as a curling wand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put it down like that. Then I go over to the next section. Then I do the root, do it for a few seconds, and I won't go through the whole thing on camera. I'll just show you a couple of things each section. Six, seven, eight. We go down. I'll do one more. I'll go ahead and do this side, then I'll show you how to do it on this side. Okay, so now I've got this done, so I'll spray it with the spray to mode. You know, it's a working helm. There's a straight piece right there, so you'll, you'll come across that. I'm just gonna kind of curl it just a little bit without burning myself. It's gonna be underneath, but I still kind of want it curled a little bit. Okay, that's fine. And I'll spray it and then I'll clip it, kind of twist it and clip it to, so it won't get mixed in with the rest of the hair that hasn't been done yet. Now I'll go to this side and then I'll take a piece. I'll go the root. Now you can do this, and I do it sometimes, so you can do the root and hold it and then work your way down and wind it again and work your way down and wind it again Work it way down like that, wind it again. I do that sometimes my hair, yeah, my hair slips out. <laughs> so that's why I usually just do it like this. Seven, eight, okay. Let me show one more over here. It's real easy what I do and, you know, it doesn't turn out the same every time because I'll take, end up taking different chunks and different amounts of hair. I'll get in a hurry and take more or less or whatever. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to finish this side and then I'll show you. Okay, I've got this side done. Oh, there's, a, there's a piece right there I don't like <laughs> that's not curling very thin one, but still, it's going to bug me. Okay, I'm going to spray this. Okay, I'm going to take it and kind of twist it a little bit and clip it. Now I'm going to go to the next section. Okay, and since I've clipped it, you can see the what's been done and what hasn't been done. So that's very helpful to me. So I will start in the back here. And 
what I'll do sometimes too, I thought I would mention it. So I, I do the root. And I, I've said, you know, that a lot of people will twist it like that, but it tends to fall out with me. So sometimes what I'll do is after I do the root, I'll just go to the end and, you know, curl it that way. Either point it down and use it as a curling wand or keep it as a curling iron and curl it up that way. You can do it either way or mix it up. They make slightly different spirals. This one tends to be a little bit tighter spiral. And, well, maybe not, but, uh, you know, either way, either way that's easiest for you. So let's see, let's take this and kind of put it over here. And then what else have I got back through here? I think I've got some back here. Yeah. Okay, there. Don't want to miss any in the back. So I'll do this one. Do my root first as a curling iron and then change it to a curling wand. Three, four, five, six. Okay, and I'll finish up over here, then we'll do the other side. There's something I want to show you too. Another reason I like to do the, the root first, you know, the one closest, my stomach is growling y'all. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, you know, I do it like that to, you know, go down about that much and get that part curled close to the scalp. Because when I take it out and do it this way, I can't get as close to the root. You know, there's a distance between it because I just, it just won't reach around as well. I can, you know, do it a little bit, but it's not as close as when I do it the other way first. Okay, so now I'll take it and spray it and put it in with the other. Turn it and put it in with the other. Okay. Now, I'm back and then this is the last one. Like I said, I do, some people do four uh, sections. I just do three, just like I've been doing. Mainly what I'm doing now is just going back and forth and making sure everything is curled. And some of it has gotten caught in here and already curled a little bit, but I'll curl it some more. And I'll, I'll keep on going off camera and then I'll show you how to do it right in the front. Okay, I've got all this done around. Let me see if there's anything. Let me do this one. I mean, I go through and see if there's anything else I want to do. And this, you know, I spend some time doing it and I don't do it all the time. I just do it sometimes, but it'll last me until I shampoo my hair again. Okay, so I'll just do my root. Do the wand, make it a wand. Okay, now 
let me do this side. I'll do. I can just do one. It's not very thick. Okay, do my root. And do the, make it a wand. And then I just kind of put a little bit of curl in my bangs to get them to blend in when I mess it up. Okay, now I'll just let this cool down. Let me spray it a little bit, and then I'll be back. Okay, I just, I usually go upside down, but you can't see me if I go upside down, and just kind of loosen the curls with my fingers. Let me, let me do that. Okay, I just usually go upside down, and then I think in that picture, let me look at it again. I think in that picture I had, well, I like it kind of in the middle. Sometimes I like doing it in the middle. Now, the other time I had it on this side, I think it's kind of cute in the middle, to be honest with you. So I'm going to keep it this way. And I just didn't do anything, basically. I just kind of just mess with it and get it the way you like it. Do your bangs. If you want to pull some of it out, if it's too curly, if it's too frizzy, put just one dot of oil on your hands and run it all in through your fingers and everything. And then just run your fingers through it like that. Now, I don't like this right here. There's one piece, two pieces, that got a little less curly right there. So I'm going to actually redo those. That would bother me now. It may not bother you. That would bother me. So I am going to fix that. But yeah, I'm just going to keep it in the middle. Uh, even though it showed in the other picture that it was on the side, I'm keeping it in the middle. And that's it. That is it. It's just so easy. And you can make the curl, I like it pretty darn curly, like, like if my hair was this naturally curly. Um, and so, you know, I like to use a smaller one, but you can make a bigger one, you can make a big wave, you can make it come down, make the end straight, bring it all the way down, however you want it, and try different ways at different times, part it in the middle, part it on the side, part it on this side, pull it back, Put it up sometimes like on second day i'll twist it up at the top and put a clip right there and then let the curls all these curls kind of you know tumble around like that and look kind of bouncy so that's the way i do my hair nothing fancy just curl and iron all over and it will last for days so thank you so much for watching be sure and like and subscribe i just appreciate you all so much i really do more than i can ever tell you i'm coming up on 11 years on youtube and i've loved every minute of it so thanks again love you all take care and talk to you in a couple of days bye bye